Hello, I'm Jonathan Dunsky, author of The Adam Lapid Mysteries. On this channel, I talk about crime fiction that I read and enjoyed. And today I'd like to tell you about a British thriller called I See You that was written by Claire McIntosh. Claire McIntosh is a successful uh, British writer of uh, crime thrillers and psychological thrillers. And she used to be uh, a police officer in Britain and her experience shows in this novel, which is the first novel by her that I read. So let me tell you about the novel, the story, and then what I thought of it. So the main character in ICU is a woman by the name of Zoe Walker. She's in her 40s. She has two grown children who uh, still live with her and with her partner, Simon. And her ex-husband is still in the picture and uh, they are still friendly, they get along. Um, and she has an office job. She is just you know, a middle class uh, resident of London who is just trying to get by and uh, secure a good future for her children. And one day, as she's riding the, uh, the subway, the underground, she picks up a newspaper and she looks at the classified section and she sees a picture of a woman who looks like her. And the picture is sort of grainy and it's, it's, not, it's not entirely clear, but she is quite certain that this is a picture of her. And the picture is in the section of the classified where there are uh, sexual chat lines and, uh, and various other services like that of a, of a sexual nature. And beside the picture, there is a, a URL of a website, findtheone.com. And when she goes there, it's just a blank website or nearly blank website. Just you need to enter some sort of uh, password, which she doesn't have. And there's also a number which doesn't connect to anything. And she's quite rattled by seeing this picture of her in, in the newspaper. And then she starts to look at other newspapers, other editions of the same newspaper, and she sees pictures of other women with the same ad uh, on other days. And all these pictures seem not to be entirely professional. They seem to have been taken of women without them being aware of it, just like she was. And she's quite uh, scared by this. And... And at first, her partner and her family are not quite sure that this is really her. And she even may be uh, not that certain herself, at least in the beginning. But she is still uh, alarmed enough by it to go to the police, especially when she identifies a woman from one of these ads and, can, and she recognizes her from... Uh, a story about this woman being uh, the victim of a crime on the subway. So she starts thinking that maybe there is some sort of connection between this ad and the crime that this woman had experienced. And so she reaches out to uh, a police officer by the name of Kelly Swift, who uh, was involved in that, in that crime, and she is on the investigation of that crime, I mean, and she uh, starts getting interested in the case. So Kelly Swift is the other main character in the book. She is uh, a young police officer, talented, but she also has uh, a hot temper, which uh, got her into trouble uh, a while back because she was uh, investigating a rape case and she was interviewing uh, a rapist. And she got physical with that, with that person, with that suspect. She basically uh, beat him up. And she didn't get fired, but she was demoted. Um, and she is trying to get out of this career hole and to become uh, a detective. Once again, she used to be a detective. Now she is no longer one. She's just a regular police officer. So she has... A certain, uh, a certain baggage in her, in her background with her family, with her sister, who underwent uh, a rape. And this is why Kelly Swift is quite uh, sensitive 
uh, to these sorts of, uh, of cases and crimes. And she is trying to uh, rebuild her career and also find a way in which she can control her emotions and not do the same mistake again. So the, these two characters, the, the, the story sort of alternates between them. And I like the structure of, uh, of, of thrillers because it keeps you on your toes. You sort of uh, get to a certain point in which you're left you know, on a sort of a small cliffhanger and then you read a chapter about another character and sort of the tension uh, sort of stays at a high level as you go back and forth between these two characters and Claire McIntosh did a very good job at making the entire book very uh, tense and, and thrilling and, and, and something that gets you to flip the pages. Now the story itself is part of mystery trying to discover who is behind these ads and what their end game is and it also is a psychological thriller because you get a just a regular person Zoe Walker which is thrown into a very creepy situation in which she doesn't know who to trust anymore she's not sure what is happening and why she was chosen as one of these women she's not particularly attractive or uh, Oh, there's no reason why she herself would have been chosen for such a, a strange scheme. So we get to know these two characters, we follow along with the investigation and, uh, and with Zoe Walker as, as things, sort of the tension ratchet up, ratchets up and um, the stakes get higher and she is, and she is sort of... Uh, sinking into more and more danger. So this is a pretty effective thriller and quite enjoyable to read. I read it very quickly and I had a good time with it. And I think that if you're a fan of mysteries and psychological thrillers, this is a good blend between the two. And especially if you like the setting of London or Britain, this should be right up your alley. So I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can pick up a copy of I See You and give it a try. I plan to read more of uh, more books by Claire McIntosh. And if you've read this book or any of her other novels, please let me know in the comments below. I'd like to know what you thought of them. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next review.